our intention to come here together is to honor you, beloved Habib, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi. One moment, if you can sit here. Yes, I have that camera from the other room. So the ladies can, can see the, yeah. Our intention is to praise Sayyidina Muhammad. Why we want, we need to praise Sayyidina Muhammad? Why we don't just praise Allah, Allah created us. As some of, as some of our brothers would, uh, would say. Why you need to honor him? Salawat wa rabbi wa salam huwa. Ya ayyuhan nabiyu wa sa'id billah inna arsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadira wa da'iyan ila Allahi bi'ithnihi wa siraja munira. In another verse he said, Ya ayyuhan nabi. يا أيها النبي إن أرسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا تؤمنوا بالله ورسوله وتعزروه وتوقروه وتسبحوه بكرة وأصيلا Allah says in the Holy Quran We have sent you O Sayyidina O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم شاهد witness مبشر giver of glad tidings for those who accept and a warner for the deniers. For what? So that we may believe. لتؤمنوا بالله ورسوله. He didn't say لتؤمنوا بالله. ماذا دي أولياء؟ لتؤمنوا بالله ورسوله. So that you believe in Allah and His Messenger. وتعزروا. And to give Him too much honor. Too much respect. And too much support, support him fully. And so that you may show him utmost respect. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordering the believers to make salawat upon his habib, upon his beloved. That is why we are simply namtathil lil amr. We are simply obeying Allah's order. He says, إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما and we are here to make salawat on him so امتثال الأمر we are here to say اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد we are here ذكر الله also we are here asking Allah سبحانه وتعالى to make salawat upon his beloved nothing else we we have, alhamdulillah, understood because of our teachers the importance of sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this creation. We didn't understand fully, but we understand something of his importance. He is sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hubbuhu iman hubbuhu iman His love is faith, is iman. Okay? So we are striving to be mu'min. We want to love him. What is the sign of love? وَعَلَامَةُ مَحَبَّتِهِ كَثْرَةُ ذِكْرِهِ وَالصَّلَاةُ عَلَيْهِ The sign of mahabba is to, to mention much. So we are doing that. Alhamdulillah. We, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this month is almost, is almost finished. But Ahl Turuq, the people of Tasawwuf, the people of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Muhibbeen. The whole year is, is a month of celebration. Even the whole, every day if one can. If you go to a shaykh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. If you go to a shaykh, what he gives you a word? He gives you a word of istighfar, dhikrullah, salli ala nabi. Three things. So you, you make dhikr. You make istighfar, you ask forgiveness, you say la ilaha illallah, Allah, Allah, and you say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Three things. If a person does daily these three things, you will not see, inshallah, any, any, diffi any difficulty. And if you see difficulty, you will stand like a mountain in those difficulties. There's no underestimating the importance of 
honoring and praising Sayyidina Muhammad. Sallu ala al-Nabi. Every word of these poems, if, if anyone understands, any, understands the meaning, even when we don't understand the meaning, we understand the healing. Okay? Because they are praising Sayyid al-Khalq. And when you honor him, Allah bestows honor. When we say Salatu Salam, that's why it's important to make salam, Salat ala nabi When we're sitting all together, we're saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. There's various narrations about how your salawat reaches him instantly. How angel, there's angels muwakkaleen. Their job is just to, you said salawat? Instantly, to take that salawat instantly to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad instantly. In his presence, there is also one dedicated angel there for the reception of salawat. Receives the salawat and tells Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, such and such a person, son of such and such a person, is making salawat upon you. Not only you are mentioned in his presence, in his khabra, but your parents are mentioned. So if you want to be good to your parents, you want them to be mentioned in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad You make salawat on him. Instantly, there's a narration that تُعْرَضُ أَحْسِنُ الصَّلَاةَ عَلَيْهِ that make, when you make salawat on me, do it in the best of conditions. Why? And تُعْرَضْ عَلَى النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ بِصُوَرِكُمْ وَسِيمَاكُمْ أَوْ كَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ But not only بِأَسْمَائِكُمْ وَسِيمَاكُمْ That you will be in front of me, your names will be mentioned in front of me, and your, your appearance also will be shown to me. So that's why when they used to make salawat, they used to dress, they used to put tib. Uh, when Sayyidina Imam Malik uh, used to speak about the hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to shower, he used to put tib, and he used to dress his best, and he used to sit in, in full adab to mention the words of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when they asked him why, why he's giving so much attention, he, he said, you didn't see what I see. He said, I sat with ulama. He said, my sheikh, I used to sit with my sheikh. When he starts to say the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would cry profusely. He would cry and cry and cry until, until he says, Hatta, hatta narhamu. Hat, until we, we will have and he, they will feel sorry to, and they will get up and leave. And other ulama, uh, Sayyidina Ja'far al-Sadiq, from the Sayyidina Hussein, alayhi wassalam, also, would, he kana, kana kathira, kathira tabassum. He used to smile often. Whenever somebody, he was very always smiling. But as, as soon as you mentioned Prophet وسلم, he would start to cry. These were people who understood uh, the, 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 the holiness of that name. And what it represents. So when, when we are making salawat, all of us here, and have yaqeen and have certainty that your salawat is reaching your Prophet Because he is a sadiq al masduq He said, your, your salawat will be delivered to me. It will be displayed for me. It will be given, granted to me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He will radda Allahu alayya ruhi hatta for the one who, who makes salam on Prophet, Allah will return his soul until he Make salam. And ulama said that this is not befitting the interpretation as if the soul of Prophet is not in his body and then Allah returns the soul and that's so forth. So uh, the interpretation that I, the, one of the best interpretations I've heard of this hadith is that Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is, uh, Allah says about, 
that when even when he went to Qaba Qawsayn or Adna, his eyesight did not waver, his heart did not change. So he's always in Allah's presence. But the meaning of that hadith is that Allah gives him permission to give his attention to that one or to this one. Not that the soul comes out and goes in. So we are asking Ya Rabbi on this night, we are weak ones, we are busy ones, we are simple ones, we are busy with dunya. And we are coming here, you are able to change our condition to the best condition. You are able to make us all real believers, real muhiddin. You are able to make us from those who uh, are ushaq al nabi And we are asking for the sake of your beloved tonight, all of us inshallah, to leave from here. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written us from his sincere servants, inshallah, all of us. We have to know that uh, part of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu that hair yani, is, uh, is part of his holy body. And because of his holy body, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the rawda, the qabr of Prophet, is by ijma' al-ulama, all ulama, from beginning to end, they believe that the holiest place in existence, not just on earth, is that qabr. Because it has the holy physical being of Sayyidina Muhammad and his presence there. So imagine this hair of Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam is here. So go, go to, to that and greet it with your heart, greet it with your tongue, assalamu alaikum, as if you are greeting him in real life. We're not afraid of shirk because we are Muslims. We say, la ilaha illallah Muhammadun abdu wa rasulu. We never make shirk with Prophet We believe he's the greatest creation and we honor him as such, but we don't believe. So greet him as if you are greeting him in real life, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and give your salam and move, inshallah, so that we can finish quickly, inshallah. We will read the dua of uh, the mawlid. So anyone who has an intention in their heart, a problem, a difficulty, a need, inshallah, something to ask him for relief, whatever it is for you, your loved ones, for our countries, for our families, for the Muslims, ummah, inshallah, whatever intention you have in your heart, Inshallah, we will read the dua and you say Ameen. And may Allah accept from us our humble deeds.